pure problems. Yeah. But anyways, thank you very much, guys, for joining me. So actually, as you see, I'm here in my church wear. Still trying to start out this thing. Yeah. Let's start out this thing. Good. Good. So guys, welcome again to the Military Kuna TV. Um, so I have a few things, a few updates that I want to give you guys. Just make sure that you smash the like button as you come in. And hit the subscribe button as well. I would totally appreciate it if you do. Now, there's a few things, a few players that I want to speak about. Still trying to adjust this, this stuff, this, this thing right here. Um, so, big up Jaden C. A lot of respect, guys. As you come in, just smash the like button. I'm having problems with this thing that I'm trying to work on. But anyways, all right. So, as you guys know, <laughs> not getting the full image. I am still trying to sort it out. Still trying to sort it out. Still trying to sort it out. Yeah, trying to. Let me see. Good. All right. So it's, it won't be perfect. It won't be perfect, guys. I'm trying to. Um. Yeah, Javon. Coming from church. Coming from church. Yeah. So guys, um, at this point in time, as you know, um, Ethan Pinnock is fit. Ethan Pinnock is fit and that is great news. I'm still trying, still trying to adjust this stuff. So bless up, um, guys. Still trying to adjust this thing because it's giving me problems. It's giving me problems. Good. Now it starts a better. Definitely have a look. And, see? I'm a little sweating. But hopefully I'm not too far away. You guys can hear me clearly. All right, so Ethan Pinnock is actually fully fit, and I believe this is really, really good news, people. Very, very good news because we know the situation going into the games coming um this um over um this I think it's Thursday, yeah, the tenth. We know the situation in regards to our defensive structure, and that is something that we wanted to sort out. Now the problem is that now we are, we all knew of the issues prior to this day coming. Now the good news is that I've already reported. On Liam Moore, you now I'm reporting that Ethan Pinnock is fully fit and ready to play. Guys, only two likes and 14 people watching. Mm. Anyways, um, it's good, it's really, really good news. Ethan Pinnock face against um, West Ham today um, with Mikel Antonio. And you guys know what Mikel Antonio has to bring. You now, the possibility lies that we might have to drift into a back three as Javon plays, says here, back three with more. Javon plays, said back three. With more Pinnock and Low, Taxi and Brown as wing backs, Speedy and Johnson in the middle with a front three of Jamal Low, Antonio, and Roof. That is not bad. That is not bad. But we'll definitely see how that one goes. That's not bad. That's really, really not bad as well. Um, I do apologize for the early parts of the video where it's just glitching and glamouring. Yeah, I have to, I have to be impro improvising right now because literally the stand is on my toe just to ensure that I can get a full view of what's happening. It's, it's the, 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 the lighting is pretty much a bright one, it's very, very bright. Um, but it's quite good, it's quite, it's quite good. Um, Nicholson should be in the 11. Um, true, Nicholson scored yesterday as well. Nicholson scored a goal yesterday as well for Sherlock uh, from his first game coming back. Um, Nicholson definitely, I believe that Nicholson would have given himself that, that edge to say that I am the most consistent um striker right now i'm the most consistent striker right now in regards to the, the national program whereas he scored in the last or last um out of three games he scored in two of those so on a level of consistency it is quite difficult for us to even consider um dropping nicholson despite the level of other strikers the reason being is because nicholson on a national level is the most um consistent striker we have right now but not to say that he's a better striker than the rest, but on a level of consistency, he's giving that us. Now, on a, on a other basis, I believe that there, there do cause to say that there's a lot of ideas people can throw out in how they want to approach this game in particular. Now, a game like this, <laughs> big up um, um, Jamie Ricketts. Yeah, church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like this looking at literally this is actually lo i love dressing like this i really really love dressing like this this is this is me this is how i love to dress anything that i do this is how i love to dress so if i am a manager 
If I am a manager, this is how I would look at the sideline. This is definitely how I would look on the sideline if I was a manager. So, as I said, that um, a lot of people are thinking about back three, um, using two strikers up front because Mikel Antonio must start. People are saying Nicholson must start. So, there's a big level of controversy in regards to who should start and also who should not. So, definitely, um, we'll talk about that on, on a future stream, discuss that in, in more details. Now, another idea, is another, another, another topic is that Kemal Roof also scored again today. Now, since then, since the last um, goal, um, World Cup qualifiers, set of games, World Cup qualifiers, um, Kemal Roof played, I think he's about four game, five games, and he has now registered three or four goals with a few assists as well. So Kemal Roof also is in very, very good form. Very, very good form. So it goes to show that all the players are definitely, all the players are definitely looking sharp coming into this game. Now, if we see anything less than what we're seeing from them now, something obviously is wrong because there's no way all these players, it, the good thing about it is that it's not only, and, oh, Darren Mattox scored, Darren Mattox scored again last night. Mattox scored again last night um, for, for um, the Phoenix. He played against Orange County. He scored last night for um, Phoenix FC. Um, Kevin Lambert also had a very good game. Um, Lamar Walker scored yesterday as well. Lamar Walker scored yesterday as well. Um, Speedy did have a good game again. So all the players are, pr are pretty much doing very, very good. All the players are doing, are, are doing good at this moment. No, no appearance as well again for, <laughs> for um, Alvas Paul. Still haven't seen appearance from him and still awaiting an appearance from Alvas Paul since the last um, sets of fixtures. So it seems as if Alvas Paul only gets short game time um, with the reggae boys and nowhere else. So quite concerning. Why am I looking to that time? But anyway, and that's quite concerning. So, but as I say, people, Kemaru, consistent really really good goal scoring for me on right now and i love i really really love what i'm seeing from him in regards to his technical work what he's doing on the pitch on the ball off the ball it's looking good the good thing about it is that um all these players are in good form every single one of these players are good are in good form all our strikers andre gray we still scoring andre gray was still scoring shaman nicholson scoring and Mikel antonio still scoring um or oh, Giovanni alone <laughs> Javanese is not scoring, people. He's the only one who's not scoring. Javanese is the only one who's not scoring. But I think by the time, when time to come, more than likely, East will, East will start scoring goals, hopefully. But he's possibly the only one who's not really scoring any goals at this moment. But the other players definitely are delivering. The other strikers are delivering, um, definitely. So, let's check out the midfield. What is the midfield like? Um, our wingers, Jamal Lowe. Getting um, game time, but not sufficient, not sufficient game time in which I personally think that he deserves, um, that I personally think he deserves, but we'll see about, about that one. So, guys, I won't say a lot, I just want to get let you guys know about Ethan Pinnock, that Ethan Pinnock is back, 